What's up guys, the Trickster Artisity here bringing you Diamond Rose. Now, this is something I never get to do in a long time. Review a visual novel, or in that sense, an RPG made out of a visual novel engine. Yes, this is made actually from the Ren-P visual novel engine, which is technically supposed to be used for visual novels. But, someone from DeviantArt, I'll put in the description below, uh, I'll put the link below if you want to check it out, um, basically made a full-blown RPG out of this, so, uh, out of this engine, so, um, I'm, like, who knows, I'll probably make a playthrough out of it if I, if I, if I do not delay it, like, so, to, like, delay my release, like, some of our RPGs that do. <laughs> Some RPG playthroughs I've been doing, right? Right? Uh, but yeah, let's just start the game. Oh god! She has taken over the country! Just kidding. I wish. The infamous city of merchants. Thanks to this location, Azalea naturally became a cornucopia of trade and a dream location for any merchant to set up shop. Whether you're selling weaponry to adventurers, going to civilians, or journey to aristocrats, Azalea is the one town a merchant can migrate to without worry. Because of that, craftsmen, blacksmiths, and all other manner of creators also flock here. We supply the merchants with wares such that they may sell our goods to customers, thus completing the supply chain. Craftsmen earn a living, merchants are forever stocked, and customers can find anything and everything they want. In this town, a little hard work, it's all it takes to succeed. Such were the lies that dragged me into this god for second time. Including horrible music. Yeah, jabs, jabs, and more jabs. <sighs> Can't believe it. A whole month in this town and what do I have to show for it? I came to Azalea because I thought my skills would be put to good use. Instead, no merchant wants anything to do with me, and my regular customers are all worthless. Honestly, who goes directly to a craftsman when they need household goods? Go to a frickin' merchant for crying out loud! I swear, if one more person asked me to make from a frying pan... I counted the coins on my satchel for the, pick for the fifth time since I awoke. A handful of bronze coins looked back at me, mocking the poor man whose rent they would fail to pay. Perhaps I should just go back to my hometown. Living in the city is far too stressful for a laid-back guy like me. Hey, lazy protagonist. Just kidding. I can't count the number of times I've almost snapped at customers this week. Uh, old me would never do something like that. And if sales don't pick up soon, I may not have a choice. Living in this town isn't cheap. Unless I'm blessed with a miracle, I won't be able to pay next week's rent. At the rate things are going, I might as well... Before I can complete the metal cock thought, the door to my workshop opened. In strolled a beautiful young woman, dressed in an ensemble, completely unlike my usual customs. Excuse me, might you be a craftsman? I noticed you wear through the window, but you do not appear to be a merchant. Oh crap, shit, I for forgot this is a ah, for fuck's sake, why do I- But why do I always like- Err, uh, mm, mm. Let me try this again. Mm. I noticed your eyes through the window, but you do not appear to be a merchant. Speaking in a dignified manner, the young woman glanced around my workshop briefly, briefly before addressing me. Damn, my first customer all day and it's some noble woman. If I made jewelry, this might be a big break. But all I have here are weapons, armor, those damn frying pans. <laughs> Yes, ma'am! If a craftsman is what you seek, then you've come to the right place. Might I interest her in the quality farm pan, or a new tableware, perhaps? The young woman stared at me in confusion. A frying pan? Tableware? Dear sir, I, I seek an expert craftsman, not the common version. Forgive my rudeness. A dozen household products. Ah, <clears throat> Forgive my rudeness, but if your specialty lies in high salt products, I'd best continue my search elsewhere. We have spoken politely, and the young woman's words pierced me like a dagger. I know I'm the one who tried to sell her that rubbish, but being called a common merchant is surprisingly painful. 
Perhaps every time it's something a little more flashy. Hmm. Well, the expression is was a little plain. Ah, oh, but I. <clears throat> Why can't I make a girl voice? Jesus Christ! Ah. Uh, I do not mean to offend. There is nothing wrong with the store being plain or simple in nature. All right, that's it. Time to scare this noble woman away. Actually, this store is filled with a fr the shop front is filled with household goods, so as not to scare customers away. You see, I specialize in weaponry: swords, bows, battle axes, you name it. The young woman's eyes opened wide as I boasted about my true wares. Yes. Is that? True. Of course it is! I am a weapon making machine! Hell yeah! Show the protagonist, everybody! Kidding. I have all kind uh I have all kinds of aerobic weapons uh I have all kinds of aerobic weapons on back. Stop you'd never imagine your worst nightmares! Oh, but I suppose my spine crushing already shredding weapons would be no ease would be of no ease to a lovely young woman such as yourself. Perhaps you better show me. Eh? <laughs> Oh, um... <laughs> oh my god, she might be a weapons maniac. Uh, kind of a certain character, but, uh, kind of like a certain character, but fuck it, whatever. The young woman suddenly shout. uh, the young woman suddenly shouted, caught, catching me off guard. When she realized how loudly she had spoken, the young woman faked a cough, then regained her composure. Forgive my outburst, kind craftsman. I allow my excitement to get the best of me. If you wouldn't mind, would you please show me your spine-crushing organ-shredding weapons? Seriously? I stared at the woman while wearing the same confusion she had moments ago. It was at the moment I reassessed the young lady. I looked past her beautiful face and expensive clothing and allowed my eyes to wander. Seriously? Dude, did the shoulder pads not rip- Did the shoulder pads- and neck brace kind of thing did not tip you off that she's not your kind of lady. Also, the arm grease that I can vaguely see down the text box, but fuck it, whatever. And what I found was a sword. Did did I just try to sell a frying pan to a knight? I shook my head and refocused. Sure, I'd be happy to show you, Miss. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's try this again. Oh, how rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Maya. I am a swordsman and I come here on behalf of my guild. Really? Huh. Her name's Maya, and she has this sort of energetic personality around weapons. And I just tried to sell her a frying pan. Are we, are we sure I'm not trying to make a ref- Are you sure? Are you trying to not make a reference here? Nah, fuck it, whatever. Maya bowed slightly as, he sh as she spoke, exuding the same air of elegance one would expect from a noble. So, that's it. She's in a guild, huh? <laughs> this could be my lucky break, if I can offload my stock onto her. Pleased to meet you, Maya. I am Van, craftsman extraordinaire. Please, allow me to show you my most brilliant blades. Easy. do. I walked into the back room and returned with several sheathed swords. It took a few trips, but before long I had brought up most of my inventory, ranging from daggers and short sword to battle axes and halberds. Hmm. Maya carefully examined each weapon I brought out. The craftsmanship is top class, but the weapons themselves... Maya swung a view of the blades around, visibly unimpressed by what she saw. No, this will not do. And these weapons will, su will suffice. I require weaponry a cut above that which the merchants of this town might provide. If I saw garbage such as this, my search would have ended long ago. Of course, I should have expected as much, given the state of this so-called workshop. I could feel a vein pop up my forehead as Maya spoke. Does that accompany a tick? Please, let's stop it's accompany with a tick. Though I wanted to clear my inventory, the weapon she has was, ins was insulting were still my masterpieces. Anybody who would insult my work so brazenly was not welcome in my store. Oh, I see. Well then, I'm so sorry to have wasted your time, your highness. Please, as some, accept my humble apologies as you get the hell out of my store! Mm. Unable to keep my calm any longer, I started to physically push Maya towards the door. 
Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fuck, my voice broke for a second. Uh, my, uh, uh, wait, I did not mean like that. Please, it was not my intention to offend. Uh, I merely spoke the truth. Yeah, 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 my weapons are truly below your standards. I get it. Look, if you don't like what I'm selling, then you can just... I did not come here to find a weapon. I came here to find you! Come again? I stopped pushing Maya for a moment as she said completely unexpected. But perhaps I should explain from the beginning. You see, Mr. Van, what I seek is not a blade, but a maker of blades. I wish to require script craftsmen to my guild such that we may be blessed with unique, high class weaponry. Unique, high class weaponry? And you thought you would find that here? Desperate. All right, Tachiga. No, wait, please. I misspoke. It's true that I came here with low expectations, but your craftsmanship is a real deal. Please allow me to see what you can do with real materials. Real materials, you say? I pondered my words as I looked over my wares. Just as you had said, my masterpieces were all made of cheap, low-grade material. Look, I'm sorry if you have what. If this thing is full of text, it's made out of a visual novel engine, but I swear we'll get to the gameplay real soon, provided I don't try to make a part two of this, because please, I really don't want to try and catch up with more parts. Parts. Hell, if they're allowing me to actually give, give... Hell, if the developer wants, I could probably make a play for out of this, but... I don't know. If there's a chance, there's a chance. But for now, it's just a review. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so far the art style's great, and the gameplay so far is pretty responsive, yeah. Uh, anyways, continuing on. Given my lack of funds, I had purposely skipped on the materials, favoring quantity over quality. It's exactly as Maya had said. I need real materials to work with, not the second rate junk I have lying around here. I turned away from the counter and faced Maya. I understand. Please provide me with the details, and I will make whatever weapon you desire. Y you will? Mr. Van, I am in your debt. I cannot wait to see what you produce when using the right materials. No, no, dear customer. It is I who am in your debt. To bestow upon me both payment and quality materials? You are kind of customer cross craftsman dream of serving. Oh, Mr. Van, you flatter me, but... Uh, I have a feeling that these two are going to be together. I have a feeling that, that, that there is something, something within this dialogue that I... I, I that that we'll get them together. I I don't know what. I, I it, it's hard to put in my tongue. But but I never said anything about providing you with tears or payment. Get the fuck out. Trust me. The next thing he says is get the fuck out. Okay, I'm giving you enough chance to go. Yep. No, Mr. Man, this is what meant. Of course I will pay you. will be redundant handsomely. It's just that you will first need to acquire the materials yourself. I stopped pushing Maya again as we neared the door. Unlike last time, I, this time I did not stop because I had a change of heart. You really are something, you know that? Pardon? You come in here, insult my workshop, insult my goods, mislead me, and then think you can just ask whatever you want of me. I'm not your slave, and this isn't. And if this is how it's going to be, then I won't help you. But, Mr. Van! No buts! Nothing you, s you say can change your mind. Maya did not say anything else. Instead, she, she simply presented me with a scrap of paper, which was marked with various scribblings. What's this supposed to be? Though difficult to discern, I soon identified the paper as the form for an official request. Like those in Adventure were, would accept from a guild. Written on it was the description of the blade to be made, the materials it should use, and finally, the reward. If you choose to rely on I will not attempt to force you to reconsider. <laughs> Whatever. If this is within your capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> Ma 
Sorry, I tried to make it, you know, like, <laughs> kind of thing, but it somehow ended up being like that. Sorry. Maya stared at me in surprise, stopping mid-sentence. Mr. Bang? <laughs> Decline? What are you talking about? I never, I never said a thing about declining. Yeah, totally. That like, it's not like uh, minutes ago you were just saying that. Then, will you really make the plate requested? Oh, I'll make the plate, all right. I'll show you exactly what this common merchant and his plain workshop can do. And when I'm done, you pay me for every single coin you promised and praise my newest masterpiece for what it is. I knew I should skip this store. After confirming the details with Maya, I packed my belongings, locked my workshop, and headed out. Although I usually wouldn't go out to collect materials myself, the offer I was being offered with was substantial, and I already knew we were to find what needed. And so, without further delay, I headed off towards the forest in search of the materials I needed. Please judge difficulty, note that this cannot be changed in game. Casual mode or normal mode? So, I do not want to look like a pleb, but at the same time, I do not want to, uh, like, say, like, I, I was like, there is something in my head, like, I'm saying here. Like, I could pick casual mode. Uh, which is basically pleb difficulty or normal mode, which most people would obviously choose, right? But Sometimes I believe that normal itself is hard mode compared to the casual mode Trust me Trust me. So right now I think uh, hold on. Uh, let me just get something. All right. I'm gonna flip a coin Now I don't now you don't see it on the uh, on the screen because I don't have a camera. Haha, <laughs> boo hoo, tee hee, haha. -ha. But uh, yeah, but yeah. Technically, I'm gonna flip this coin and heads. If it lands on heads, eh, we're gonna go casual. If it lands on tails, we're going normal. Please heads, please heads, please heads. Heads. Okay, we're taking casual. Okay. You are now in map mode. To navigate, press the W, S, A, or D keys. Finally, we're back to the gameplay. Okay, the mini map at the top right hand corner of the screen indicates where you are in the current area. The green color, color indicates a change in area. Some areas are locked until you complete certain quests. You can use the 1, 2, 3, 4 keys to open up game menus. These keyboard shortcuts change behavior depending on what mini screen you're on. Alright, so. Status, quest, save, load, and configuration. Let's see the configuration, uh, yeah. Mm. Let's see, there's quest. Okay, the case quest. Collect materials to craft my sword. One uh, iron ore and one exotic fang. Uh, status, okay, so um, let's see. We have an attack of five, defense of one, a shitty defense of one, and a speed of 20. Uh, I think this is suitable for a... I think this is suitable for a... This uh, a distracting dodging class, but my HP is 70 and my sp uh, my SP is 8. And my equipment right now, uh, let's see, is a mallet. <laughs> is a mallet and just some normal ass armor. And the only healing items I have are berries. So, okay. So there's rest and forge. Now forge. Forge. Ah, so this is what she wanted me to make. A long sword. Oh, I'm, I think, oh, I'm wearing a common, t I think I'm wearing a common tunic or something, I don't know. And a spiked hammer, which uh, both require materials of some sort, but yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, head to the next area. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, we're in the forest. Wow, the music. Okay, there we go. So... This works in a grid-like thing, where basically, you smack the shit out of things. And I just got hit. Great. Uh, let's see, my specials are Bash, Aim, Hammer Smash, and Fur Brave. All which cost a lot, Jesus fuck. Uh, I think I'll just fight, thank you. Ow. Come on, just keep fighting. Alright, the victory. The enemies dropped. A huge amount of nothing. Great, yeah, like this is fucking helpful. All right, let's uh, let's just go. I'm gonna go right. There's supposed to... area is locked. Huh? So technically, this one's locked. So further, okay. 
And we're gonna fight again. Smack. Heck. Smack. Ow. Smack. Crit! And they drop the berry. Which I really did not need right now. Alright. Some areas contain items. These Mars are these areas are marked with a light blue color in the minimap. Got it. Let's collect some berries. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all it had. Just berries. Okay. Man, I'm just collecting berries. Ow. Uh, smack it. Crit, ya bitch. Nope. Oh god, it critted me! And it dropped nothing. Areas colored in red indicate a boss battle. Be prepared! Obviously I am. What do you think I'm doing? And collected a bitter berry, which what it does is... I don't fucking know. They don't give you a description. Oh! It's a goat. I will hit goat. Ow! Hit goat. Ow again. Hit goat. Critted. Ow! Hit goat. And it dropped the dirty wool. Great! Could have used that to make the common tunic I wanted, but fuck it, whatever. Okay, so I have a feeling. Oh! It, oh! A bitter berry raises my SP. Alright, this, this could be useful. Yep. And there's a boar tusker. So, let's see. Um, let's go with aim first. Wow, that was... Ow! Jesus! Alright, uh... Let's go with... Bash his fit. Oh my god. Oh, thank god it missed. Okay. So, uh... I only have one bitter berry. And that is bad. So instead, I'ma just go... I'ma smack! Okay, that sucked. Uh, let's use an item. Yeah, I did that. What the fuck you care about it? Let's just smack it. Crit, you damn bastard! Crit! Crit! Jesus, this is gonna be a long fight. I'm practically using the shortcut keys right now just so that I can spam the thing. Oh my god. Smack. Ow! Smack. Ow! Okay, it's at half. Let's use a berry on me. Oh, great! Free damage! Because that's exactly what I want. Fuck off. Oh, thank God. Berry's time. Smack! Ha! Smack again! Ha! Smack again! <laughs> this is gonna be a long battle! I- I can't cut this out, by the way. So you're just gonna have to endure this with me. Ow again! Bury! Me! Ow! Die! Ow! Die! Ah! Yeah. Blah ha ha crap, this is not good. <laughs> Smack Smack Ugh. Ugh. Fuck Fuck He double critted me Oh god and I have no more Bash it! Yeah, great! Cause that stun would have probably helped! Oh my god, I'm about to die! This is it! I'm probably dead! Oh my god! Oh! Ah ha no! Ah, come on! Ah, come on! Die! Oh shit! Oh, come on! Okay, I'm just hitting in crits now. Ow! 
Oh, please. Oh, God. Come on. This is like the Revenant situation right now where I'm just fighting a huge goddamn beast and it's pretty much... Just stay alive. For the love of God, stay alive. Oh. Come on. Come on. 6 HP. 6 HP. You can do this. You can do this. Ah. Come on. Two. Two. One hit. Oh. Okay. The enemy's dropped. Exotic Fang. Let me revival bomb. I am gone. Where is it? Now collect the other material and head back to the workshop to craft the what? Oh god, run. I don't have. I don't have anything. Shit. Ah. Damn it! There's no flea option? Seriously? Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. This is it. Oh, one more hit. Okay, okay. Just eat this raw meat. Jesus, fuck. Oh my god! Come on, defend! Ow! Seriously? Okay, this is one thing that the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! Whew! Ah, come on! Ah, come on! Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. The party's falling. Wow! Okay! And I didn't save the game, so, um... Okay, this is a pretty hard game. Wow, I, uh... Didn't expect something like this, so, um... Thank you so much for watching! Wow. I can't expect- I, I, I like- I, I didn't want to expect this, but... Ah, uh, I really wanted to run, but I just couldn't run! Unl unless there was something I'm missing, in which case, fuck me for being a pleb about it, but... Ugh, uh, like, this game, man, it it's it's a great game, and... Uh, it's a great game, and I, w I would like to commend the developer on it regardless, so... Uh, yeah, just click the description below, like, it's a good game, yeah! Good game, yeah. Uh, yeah, God, yeah, I'm just in the babble right now. I just don't know what to do, honestly. So, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from me, click, um, if you want to see more from me, click that sub button, click that subscribe button. I always love to hear what I can do to improve this channel. But, to improve the channel and possibly the series if it gets applied. Yeah, leave a like or comment for that. And, um, yeah, sub me if you can. Jesus Christ, I'm really... Uh, the heat is getting to me because my recording shit is really bad, so... Yeah, it kind of gets to me now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, but till then, keep on shocking. Out of order, boop!